Turn up and lift. And back down and release. This is the position that you pick the kettlebell up in. Make sure that you're dropping that bump back. Make sure on your way up you are firing the glutes. So on the way up, squeeze those glutes and up. Let's get a couple of those. Let's get about 20 of those in. I promise you that actually the heavier the weight is, the easier it is. Because when you're feet in the same position, you push your bum back and you extend both your arms onto the horn. You're going to pull through, hit your bum, and let the momentum carry it forward. You want an aggressive pull backwards. Then you put it down again, take a step back. Okay, squat down, bum back, hold the horn, aggressive pull, and let the momentum just carry it up forward. Then take it forward. You don't have to let it turn high. All I want is that pull back and up. That's it. Again, step back, arms forward, grab, aggressive pull, and let the momentum carry it. Let's do a couple of those. Crack the kettlebell. Crack it. There we go. From this position, you're going to lift it slightly with your hips and then let it flow. And lift it to eye level. You want it to pull down. You want it to almost hit you on the bum. Let it pull you. If your shoulders start getting sore, it means that you are using your shoulders and not firing your glutes. Keep going. Five minutes. Let's go. <laughs> so you've got two different styles of kettlebell. You've got hard style with powerful pushing movements where you're using a lot of force and a lot of energy. And then you've got soft style or flow style where you want to use the kettlebell momentum. Where you can do this for hours at a time. Hours at a time. So just let the kettlebell do what it needs to. You're eventually going to get so tired that you're going to stop fighting it and let the kettlebell do what it needs to. That's, that's the point of this. If you're fighting the movement, your body is going to get fatigued. Let the kettlebell flow. Remember, you're not squatting as well, you're hinging at the hips. So each time it goes down, you want to feel the pull of your hamstrings. And on the way up, you want to see those glutes firing up. Keep breathing. All the way through, so hit your butt, hit, hit your butt. Let's swing, let's swing, let's swing, let's swing, let's swing, let's swing. Kettlebell again. Okay, hand is going to go on the inside. We're going to push it up, so that bicep is on the ear. From this position, you want your toes going to the left. If you've got it in your right hand, toes going 45 degrees to the left, or vice versa. Feet a little bit wider than shoulder width apart. Okay. Left hand, obviously, if it's your right hand that you put it in, on the inside. Okay? Look at the kettlebell. You're going to then slightly flex the front leg. Slide your hand down on the inside. Watching the kettlebell, making a T-shape with your shoulders, and back up. Maybe practice without the kettlebell first. And as you go down, you rotate your wrist and turn it outwards and bring it back up. What, make sure you're watching the kettlebell all the time. You can feel it in your glutes, feeling it in your core. Rotate those wrists, go two on the one side, then breathe and go two on the other side. Your hands will be able to get down to the floor. Straight legs. Rotate, yeah? Look, your front leg is slightly fixed. Back leg is straight. Feet are parallel, wide from there, rotating down and back up. Uh, in my version. <laughs> good, Tyron, good. Nice. Yeah. Rotate the wrist back in, that's it. As you go down, as you go down, rotate the wrist up. As you go down, rotate your wrist. As you go down, rotate your wrist. So your palm is facing forward at the bottom of the movement, your palm is facing behind you. Rotate the wrist, rotate the whole shoulder. So from facing forward at the start, go all the way, rotating backwards at the end. Okay, goblin squat, you guys should all remember this one. So you're gonna grab the kettlebell on the horn on each side, make a cradle with your arms, tuck it in, big chest, core tight. You want your elbows inside your knees. You're gonna be doing a full squat, as low as you can, and back up. Full squat, you do not want your elbows going out, elbows in, making a cradle. 
Right, let's go. 45 seconds. Get it over. Three, two, one, and goblet squat. Cradle, cradle. Get those elbows in. There's it. Get those elbows in. All the way down. You don't have to rush into it. Whoopsie! Nice done. Make sure on the way up, what are we doing? Fire our glutes. Squeeze those glutes on the way. Squeeze it on the way. That's one minute. Out to get the bell. So this is a Turkish get up. It's engaging almost every single muscle in your body. When you're doing a quick Turkish get up, make sure you do one side and then the alternative side. All we're going to be doing is two on the So it's going to be left, right, left, right. That's it. Okay, so line on the side. So if I'm on the right side, right arm underneath the horn, left arm on top in the fetal position. Roll out your back. It's in my right arm, so left arm goes out. Left arm goes out. Left leg goes out. Push the kettlebell straight up above your head. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to rock onto my side and balance myself on my elbow. I'm using the leg on the ground to stabilize. From here, I'm going to push up with my hand so that my arm is straight, just like the windmill, making a T. Then I'm going to engage my glutes, engage my core and hop up. Leg goes through, so straight leg goes through onto my knee. I'm still in my T. I'm going to straighten and I'm going to stand. Then you go back down, so reverse. Knee goes down, bracing arm goes out to the side. You don't want it close to you, you want it out to the side creating that T. Knee that's on the ground kicks through, Engaging core, engaging glutes. Drop the bum, drop the elbow, onto your back, onto your chest, into a position and down. And repeat the other side. Please try to out the kettlebell first. We're going to go through the movements in sequence together. So everyone in your fetal position. Hold a towel or a water bottle or hold your hand, something that you can make like it's a kettlebell and getting a paperweight. Oh, yeah. Okay, fetal position. Shoulder that's on the ground, hands underneath, other hands on top. Rock onto your back. Whichever hand the kettlebell is in, straighten it above your head. Opposite arm goes flat on the floor, opposite leg goes flat on the floor. Push off your stabilizing leg and the arm that is straight out, go onto your elbow. Do not stop looking at your kettlebell. Look nowhere else except your kettlebell. Now, straighten your arm that's on the floor. Engage your glutes, engage your core and lift. Kick the leg through and put your knee on the ground. Underneath you. Underneath you, is it? Lift your arm off the ground, still looking at the kettlebell and stand. You can do the stand in two movements, where you just stand up and then you bring your feet together. Okay, so now we are straight above. We are upright. Leg goes back. Leg, knee on the ground. Arm makes a T to the ground. It's far up, not close to the far up, is it? Okay, drop your elbow. Keep your leg through, keep your leg through. Drop your bum. Drop your elbow. Drop your arm that's on the kettlebell, put that shoulder on the floor. Bring the kettlebell to your chest and roll to the feet, fetal position. Now roll over to the other side, fetal position. Most people would know the kettlebell clean from here to there, am I correct? You're now going to clean from the swing. Yeah. But from the swing, you're going to be swinging. All that happens is you tuck your elbow in, you get your thumb to your midline, to your chest. From there, in. So remember, smart rockers, you don't want to get broken. You don't want your arm out here, thumb to midline. Swing, tuck elbow. Let the kettlebell carry over. Swing, to elbow. Swing, tuck in, swing over. In, 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 in. Everything was at your midline. 
How many swings? Right. right. When you come to the dot, you have to take 40 swings. Swing. Mm-hmm. That's going up here. See, that's a press movement. You want to be close. That's yeah. where you want to finish. Yes. So there and there. And then close. Close, yeah. There. Close. There. Close. It's almost hitting your bicep. Yeah. Yes, it's good. In, everything, your elbow and your thumb on your midline, in the middle of your chest. Let's have a bit. Eight weeks, you know. Okay. And then can we stop? Then you go to transition. You don't put it down. Transition. Swing. Then you watch it. Swing. When you're comfortable, transition. Clean. And lift. Close to the midline. Close to the midline. Should it be hitting the outside of your shoulder? Just catching it while your chest is device in the middle. So don't aim to bring it out, aim to bring it in. You're going to swing. Clean. Squat. Pop up. Swing. Clean. Squat. Remember on the swing you don't want to squat. So pop up. Swing. Clean. Squat. Pop up. Swing. Clean. Squat. Front squat. Clean. Front squat. There we go. Pop up. Swing. Clean. Squat. And then transition in the middle and do the other side. Then we're going to do a flow, then we're done for the day. 